When a client calls me and says, what can you do for me? I'm desperate. I'm finally ready to make a change. The first thing I will ask him is, is he really ready to do something different in his life? I remember a gentleman called me about two years ago and he said, I want to change, but I don't want to change what I'm doing. And that in and of itself is a problem. What he then said was, but if I wanted to change what I'm doing, I wouldn't even know what to do. And that's where I said to him, you don't have to know what to change, you just have to be willing. What I offer my clients is the task approach that is based on Patrick Carnes's 30 task model. This is what uh, certified sex addiction therapists are trained to do. I incorporate into that experiential therapy. Oftentimes, as we know, underlying issues such as unresolved childhood abuse and trauma are feeding addictions such as sex and love addiction. And what I work into the therapy with my client is experiential trauma work we're not going to live in the past, but we're going to revisit some of the issues that might be feeding the need to use pornography, to use anonymous sex, or to use massage parlors in lieu of creating intimacy and safety in their marriage. About four years ago, a gentleman came to me. He was a professional. He doesn't do the touchy-feely thing, he said. But what he realized was that what was missing for him was a connection to his younger self that little boy who decided he could no longer feel safe in the world having his feelings, and so he shut them down. And it wasn't until many years later that he came to therapy and he realized that it never felt safe for him to have his feelings. Today he's enjoying a wonderful relationship with his wife, with his children, and none of that involves the use of extramarital affairs, massage parlors, or pornography.